and welcome to this week's edition of You News, where you get You News. Do you like cherries on top of your Sunday? How about icing your cake on Friday? After You News aired last week in the wee hours of Friday night, an alert was issued via FTX's telegram that the exchange had been hacked for hundreds of millions in whatever remaining assets they had. The hacker converted most of the tokens into ETH and has since become the 39th largest holder of Ethereum in the process. To continue salting the wound, SBF has been tweeting until proven guilty with apologies, excuses, and empty promises. I've honestly never looked more forward to someone mysteriously committing suicide in jail. Since the implosion of FTX and the crypto market with it, many revelations have been made since then. Just within SBF's immediate inner circle, I'd like to bring your attention to, first, his mother, who started the super PAC Mind the Gap, which is the second largest Democrat super PAC. SBF's subsequent $5 to $11 million in donations to the Biden campaign, of which he became the second largest contributor. Then, the Biden-appointed head of the SEC, Gary Gensler, who worked at MIT with the father of Alameda Research head and SBF's rumored girlfriend, Caroline. I'm also so glad that while Gary Gensler was face-to-face -face with SBF in meetings, he took the time to make a financial example of Kim Kardashian and an Instagram post about one single shitcoin. Y'all, I'm not gonna lie, I am exhausted. I have lived through a housing market crash, two recessions, a global pandemic, and the removal of Taco Bell's Mexican pizza from the menu, and this week has sent me over the edge. We will continue to follow this story as more, unfortunately, develops. Next up, we've all aped into something, but Justin Bieber apparently aped in at an all-time high. The rumored holder of this board ape, the Biebs, reportedly paid over $1.3 million for this JPEG that is now worth around $75,000. Why is this news? Like, someone bothered to type out a whole article about this. At least he still has the stupid JPEG. Seriously, crypto journalists, read the room! Talking about this is like pointing out Augustus Gloop only had four bars of chocolate for breakfast in front of Tiny Tim. Moving on to the scales of justice, you've heard of people being sued for bad financial practices, but what about being sued for not giving financial advice? Larry David, known comedian from Curb Your Enthusiasm, is currently being sued for his promotion of FTX in a commercial where he plays out several scenarios as someone denying major inventions in history, like the wheel and the light bulb, saying they'll never take off. The ad finishes with someone pitching him FTX and him saying, no thanks, I don't think it'll work. Between Sam Bakeman fried telling Congress that some exchanges are secretly insolvent, and even the commercial spokesman telling us not to use FTX, I'm wondering if we were just being trolled from the beginning. Hindsight might be 2020, but until last week, crypto holders were Helen Keller about FTX. Next, you've heard crypto is a bubble, but is the metaverse an island? The island of Tuvalu in the South Pacific is reportedly looking to protect its country's heritage from rising sea levels by becoming the world's first digital nation and adding their island's images to the metaverse. This is the kind of escape I was really looking for. I don't want to put on a headset and be shot at. I can just go to Baltimore in real life for that. No, I want to turn up the heat in my house in February and pretend I'm on a South Pacific beach while it's snowing outside. There's all kinds of tech things happening with this idea in other countries, but the big takeaway here is that you're going to save a lot of money on flights and sunblock. Our last story tonight is about the only people in crypto who haven't been fucked. Young male virginity is on the rise, according to a general social society study published by the Washington Post. The study defined men between 18 to 30 who reported zero sexual female partners has risen from 8% to an all-time high of 27% since 2008. The team at UNews can't help but notice that Bitcoin was invented in 2008, and men ages 18 to 30 are one of the largest demographic of holders in crypto right now. I'm sure that's just a coincidence, though, because nobody who would take a token project named Cum Rocket seriously could ever be accused of not being near a vagina. That's all for this week's edition of You News, where you get totally unnecessary, useless news. I'm Tupac's, of course, and I'll see you in two weeks.